Hi, welcome back students for today's my class. In the previous class, I hope you do remember what we discuss. Just let me recollect salient features of yesterday's class. We discuss how important is the subject in the current scenario and uh, what are the significance of the functional elements in the solid waste management. There are six functional elements and uh, we are discussing mainly the fourth functional element that processing of the solid wastes which is a module 2 subject. So in that we briefly discuss about the different types of uh, uh, techniques like physical processing technique, chemical processing technique and biological processing technique and then we went into the details of the physical processing technique which are component separation, mechanical volume reduction, mechanical size reduction and other miscellaneous methods. So let us start today's class. I always take as a teacher during my classes, this as an opportunity, this platform as an opportunity to create parallelly an environmental awareness among the students. What has happened after late? Many things we simply go on preaching you have to do this thing, we should not do these things, but actually we are not practicing. So, I hope the recent World Environment Day that is June 5 we celebrated and suddenly we have forgot it. That happens many times in many cases, but in my personal opinion, we should not compromise on the environmental issues. The last environmental day, the theme, I hope you remember, the only earth. Kannanda dalli helabhe kandare, yirubudu vande bhoomi. Yalla vidyarthi yalage, my personal request is that everybody should have a Kannada book called Irudonde Bhumi, written by Professor Nagesh Hegde. Abuni Vodi Bitre, Nimig Samagravadanta, Tiwalaki Varate. I hope you do not mind in using my mother tongue. Recently, Nivelru Nodritira, a popular cinema, Yuratna, Aunu Punit Rajkumaru, Professor. Engineering is a thermal and skull star. Yes, to Gramina Pradesh in the Banda Vidarti Golam Tilitala, sir, you explain in Canada and theatre. Compression and tension on chalk piece don't explain more than a Canada. And the students all get very happy. Parallel to what happens, other teachers complain to principal. Sir, any or Canada the Hertha. Hilata, <laughs> So, I hope you do not mind in between whenever I use mother tongue. Very, very important slogan. Why this has come? Why this theme has come in the recent 2022 World Environment Day? 
the reasons are two. The world is going very fast, population is growing exponentially. I told by 2050, it is likely to be around 1000 crores, 9.8 billions, and India is likely to be 1.6 billion, that is 160 crores. How to manage? Everybody needs water. Everybody would like to live comfortably. Everybody would like to enjoy the life. And to enjoy this life, we need resources. That could be mineral resource, that could be water, that could be earth. But the fact is that Yiruvudu one day bhumi. Balashtijana na vente kombiti divi dana akshaya patre anta dhulu kombiti divi. No, akshaya patre Allah. All the resources, all the mineral, mineral resources, now here is the Indian class only, they are quantified. They are going to extinguish. One the scientific calculation prakara, if the population growth continues in the same way, if the economy also continues in the same way, if other activities like urbanization, deforestation continue in the same way. In other words, if we do not change our attitude towards environment or I can say if we do not think of sustainable lifestyle, people say that hardly many of the resources are going to last for 30 years. Paravaila, you know, Kalavan the minerals in the now identify Madilan to the Kondu and 20 years now Nimge on the Kotrunukuda. I think it is more or less proved scientifically and documented that 50 years, maximum 50 years, many of our resources that could be petrol, that could be some minerals. And all those things are going to perish. So this is the point which has made all the environmental subjects very, very sensitive subject. It is not simply that from academic point of view you are going to learn the subject. You should as an engineer, you should understand the consequences and you should try to lead the environmental friendly life. It is not that only civil engineers, it is not that only environmental engineers, every engineer, every citizen should think that the lifestyle is eco-friendly. That is why I hope you remember the environmental engineering or environmental studies has been made mandatory for all the courses whether it is commerce or engineering, or medical, the reason is obvious. And another important thing, I told the resources are not going to much, then what to do? What to do? That is the next question. There are many environmental issues you know, that could be air pollution, that could be water pollution, okay. global warming is there, climate change is there and solid waste management recently. I am not sure whether the solid waste management in our uh, proud capital city Bengaluru is scientifically managed or not. I do not remember exact year, few years back an article came, New York Times, the garden city has become garbage city. Till then, our policy makers did not give much attention to the, this. Mix. Suddenly, people started. So, the fact remains that a political will is required to take some stringent measures in the interest of the environmental protection. Thanks to central government, recently they have come with an enactment wherein 
the plastic usage is, is restricted. Such strong measures are required to control certain things. It is not only the government, we also being a civilized persons, Nagarika Pradne, civic sense is very, very necessary. So we should have that and we should also try to lead eco-friendly life. So always I used to think, you know, B-Tech thesis, paper, bound copy, submit, Martivi. So, bit Madaga, we actually type all things only one side. Always I, I, I get worried, in one side type Madre, 50 percent I would say. So, major savings in the paper, indirectly we are saving the wood. Imagine more than around 200 colleges, number of students, theses, projects, all are printed on only one side of the paper, very unfortunate as something has to uh, come out of that so that the thesis, all such research thesis or M-Tech thesis, B-Tech thesis are taken on the both sides. So this is a small example wherein we can try to lead eco-friendly life. Another important thing dear students, I would like to draw your attention of the statement given by Stephen Hawking, Stephen Hawking, who is considered to be modern Einstein. Our Hiridare, you know, if similar kind of a population growth and similar lifestyle continues without due respect to nature, if we do not go in harmony with the nature, the human population is going to perish within 600 years. As per his prediction, the mother earth is going to become a fireball. So, obviously, it's become very unimaginable. And when a scientist, physicist like British physicist like Stephen Hawking says about that, we have to be very serious. I do not know how many of us are really serious about that. Earth is going to become fireball. And in fact, he goes further. Parvaila, Nanagan Sitte, Niyavantun lifestyle change madala. People are not going to lead a, a life which is in harmony with the environment. So, if fireball Akhtar Hogate, better look for some other planet which is convenient for human living and try to shift to some other planet. It is not a joke, you know, you can uh, just uh, uh, go into the search Stephen Hawking statement on fireball earth, you will get all the details. Such is the critical scenario. And uh, there is one more person who sincerely tried to create environment awareness among the entire earth throughout the world. He is Mr. Al Gore, former president of America. There is a one movie called An Inconvenient Truth, An Inconvenient Truth. Namige Arisikola Lagardanta Satya regarding environmental issues. Specifically, he talks about climate change, global warming, and its impact. So, the title of the film is An Inconvenient Truth. Namige Opikola Lagaranta, Namige Arisikola Lagaranta Satya. Adon Daibitu, download Madi, free I available there. Adon Nodi, Nim Gotagate. How serious are these environmental issues? So, Irubad one day, Bhumi, Yalla resources limited do Akshay Patri Allah Bahalandre, Hino Nalotri and the Yatu Varsho Age, now Upeg Madabodo, population no Savir Kote Agate, Tennis Country, Tumba Bayagate. Now, 
ಪುಣ್ಯವಂತರು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಿರಿಯರು ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸುಂದರವಾದಂಥ ಕಂಫರ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ಜೀವನ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಭೂಮಿಯನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮಾರಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರುವಂಥ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಏನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಇದ್ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಇದೇನು ನಮ್ಮ ತಾತ ಮುತ್ತಾತನ ಆಸ್ತಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಗಾಂಧಿಯವರು ವಿಜನರೀಸ್ ಹೆಂಗೂ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಒಂದೇ ವಿಚಾರ ಒಂದೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದರು ನೇಚರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗ್ರೀಡಿ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗ್ರೀಡಿ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಆಶೆಗಳನ್ನು ಪೂರೈಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನೇಚರ್ ರೆಡಿ ಇದೆ ದುರಾಶೆ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೀಪ ವಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಗ್ರೀಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಇನಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನಫ್ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನೋಟಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಮ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನೋ ಯು ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಹೌ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ in that one is component separation second is mechanical volume reduction third is uh, mechanical size reduction and next is other some technique miscellaneous techniques which are used okay so we are discussing about the component separation it is nothing but identifying various items and separating them and making an heterogeneous mixture of the solid waste into more or less homogeneous mixture of other items like glass plastic tin aluminum cans something like that so this is nothing but a component we will be identifying the component and we will be separating them so there are two types the, this objective can be achieved at smaller scale by manually on the larger scale we need mechanical help so let me come to the first one yeah manual component separation so i told earlier also the biggest hurdle in the solid waste management is separating recyclables and non recyclables from commingled waste of commingled municipal solid waste which can be achieved at the source or at the processing station or processing site recyclable andre maru balake maadabodadanta vastugalu solid kana vastugalu maru balake maadade iruvanta gana tajya vastugalanna naavu gurutisbeku so idanna manual agi nu kuda at a small scale we can carry out now let me just list some of the recyclables obviously even bit to more or less whatever that remains is they are non recyclables maru balake maadalaradanta gana tyajya vastugalu okay yeah see which are residential source okay add them at small scale anta anabodu residential scale anabodu ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಅನ್ಬೋದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ಈ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಇದನ್ನು ಆ ಒಂದು ನಾಗರಿಕ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆ ಪರಿಸರ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆ ನಾವು ಬೆಳೆಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಬೆಳೆಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಾಮಾಣಿಕ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಆನ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ವಿಶ್ವದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಜೂನ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೊಂದು ಪರಿಸರ ದಿನಾಚರಣೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೇಳಿದ್ ಮರ್ತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ನಾವು ಪರಿಸರ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆಯಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ನಾವು ಒಬ್ಬರೇ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಜ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬಾಟಲ್ಸ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಆರಾಮವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಮರುಬಳಕೆ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಸಿಮ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ಬಾಟಲ್ಸ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೀರ್ ಬಾಟಲ್ಸ್ ಗ್ಲ
aluminum soft drink bottles and aluminum beer bottles examples i am giving tinned food cans newspapers and magazines office papers and paper wraps cardboard packing material etc ivellanu kuda nam nam maniyal agli office nalli agi adana hand pick maadi manually hand pick maadi heterogeneous mixture iddanna bere bere item the plastic ko glass glass bottles so maadidre this becomes a manual separation of the components at the residence or at source of a generation so these are so now let me go to yeah mechanical component separations okay so unit operations you should all never forget as a environmental engineer the difference between the unit operation and unit process unit operations are those in, those engineering techniques where we never change the material properties will change only physical properties like size shape or maybe density on the contrary unit processes may be chemical or biological one material is totally converted into other material solid getting converted into liquid liquid getting converted into gas or solid getting solid getting converted into gas or ash so so these three are there one is the screening another is the density separation and one more is magnetic separation so here students again one more point i would like to say you might have heard here and there when you, uh, you know uh, in the newspapers or when you have attended some environmental awareness programs maybe in a uh, uh, professor taking some other modules also might have uh, talked about this some 3 hours or 4 hours of environmental management like what are those 4 hours one is reject or refuse na namma parisara pradne heng irbeku antandre nanu kelavond item bedave beda rejecting there is no question of reusing and all rejecting na plastic use e madalla refusing i will not go to market with a plastic bag i will carry some other cloth bag or maybe paper made bag or jute made bag something like that so that means i will refuse to take some materials which are hazardous which are not suitable for eco friendly life so that is one is refuse or reject number 1 one are okay refuse next r is reuse maru balake maadri iga for example nammalle ondu glass bottle irutte adu khali agutte athwa ondu yado amla juice bottle tandirtira adu plastic quality irutte nim mundi mundin class tan helutare a plastic quality if it is a, Uh, as per the environmental guidelines adana varagade vayud bitto adu nave neer kudi bottle age upayoga madabodu amele recyclables recyclable items idu ondar amele recover madadu so refuse reuse recyclable but recycle and recover so e one the four hours now as a environmental engineer or nagarika pradne iddavaru athwa parisara pradne iddavaru idu one nam tevalik irbeku kelavu nam bitu bidbeku nam lifestyle change madbeku helbeku nam maneyalli kashta nanu gottu iga nanugu nam maneyalli thumba kashta idne ella helbekadre but eshto try martti nan ನಮ್ಮ ಮಿಸ್ಸಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಬೇಡ ಈ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಡ್ರಿ ಹಾಂ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಅದು ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ನ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ಬಾಟಲ್ಸ್ ತೊಗೊಂಬನ್ನಿ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಆದರೂ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಮೋರ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಆ ಒಂ
ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಎಲ್ಲನೂ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ತರ್ತಾರೆ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ತರ್ತಾರೆ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ವಿ ಕೋಆಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಯು ನೋ ಸಿವಿಕ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾಗರಿಕ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪರಿಸರ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆ ತುಂಬ ಅವಶ್ಯ ಅಂತ ನನ್ನ ವೈಯಕ್ತಿಕ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ವೇರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದರ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಆರ್ ಬಯಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಎನ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ವೇರ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೈಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಪರೇಟೆಡ್ so that the processing or handling of the solid waste becomes easy or this how it can be achieved okay simple jalge sas separation of particle size is accomplished by passing materials over a screening surface where small materials than the skin holes are passed through while the larger ones are ರೀಟೆಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಸೋಸುವಿಕೆ ಅಂತಾರಲ್ಲ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದಿ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಸೌಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ಡ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೌಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲರ್ ಸೈಜ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಗ್ಗರ್ ಸೈಜ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡ್ರೈ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಇವನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಚೀವ್ಡ್ ವೆಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ go into the further details of the screening or separation by particle size okay before that okay these are the principal applications of the screening removal of over size and under size dododu matu sanna size madodu separation of light combustible from heavy non combustible materials thumba important idu okay that are part of the solid waste is uh, non combustible part of that is light generally combustible material is light when compared to non combustible material so separate them out so that combustible material can be used for the incineration process and energy recovery okay and similar recovery of paper plastic and other materials from the mixture of glass and metals you look into the class this is another class light light and other light materials whether these two are heavy so this is also one of the principal and glass grit sand from the combustible material suppose if you are going for the incineration combustible process that is also one of the processing techniques of the solid waste if you are going for that see that the waste that enters into the combustible chamber is free from glass grit and sand because that is going to interfere with the processing through whether it could be a chemical processing technique like incineration or even biological so the key if these are the some important points we have to keep in mind so that the further processing becomes easy or suppose you are planning as an engineer if you are planning for biological conversion final processing of the come organic fraction of the solid waste see that all this glass grit sand any hard material you know any hard material that could be ferrous materials as well is totally out of that mixture of the organic fraction or the food fraction because that is going to interfere with the biological processing of the solid waste okay next yeah separating rocks and other over sized debris particularly at construction site we create lot of solid waste of very different uh, sizes construction agirbodu athwa demolishing of the buildings agirbodu there also you know compound separation becomes very crucial many of them may be big rocks or concrete blocks or irons and so many you know at the construction site or maybe at the demolishing structure there also you know compound separation is very very important and uh, removal of oversized materials from the combustion ash suppose 
which will be uh, discussing sub subsequent classes combustion of the municipal salt waste. By chance, you know, it's, it happens practically here theoretically we should say that this should be removed, that should be removed. But on the large scale when it takes place in the field, what happens you know, after the combustible, all this organic matter is converted into ash, but still some of the oversight material, some of the unburnt inorganic materials may be left, your inference materials also may be there quite possible, there also you have to separate those from the combustion ash so that this ash can be used or sent for the landfilling. I hope it is clear. Yeah. Then there are basically three types of screens. Remember we are discussing component separation by screening screening, we have to screen, we have to separate out oversized, undersized, light and heavy, right. So let me take this vibrating screen, sorry, yeah. This is used to remove undersized materials from the source separated, I think rather this could have been, you know separated and commingled municipal salt waste. And this vibrating skin is also used in construction and de demolition waste, vibration, large scale. And most of them are inclined, okay. I will show the pictures and although there are different types of motions are there, vertical motions and the vertical motion allows the material to be separated to contact the skin at a different locations each time. So let me show you the figure that becomes clear, yeah. I have not taken photographs dear students because whenever in the examination the question is asked we find many times that you write a theory, some of some most of the students write theory but in the, as, an, as an engineer always you should prepare you should in a such a way that you are able to depict your little bit theoretical knowledge into line diagrams at least. So this compare this is a line diagram whereas this is a 3D diagram. You can see here there are two hoppers underflow material size 1, this is another size 2. Okay. That means come here, here is a screen having one smaller size, right? Try to understand. And other part of the screen is having slightly whole larger in size than this, okay? The feed, okay? The feed, solid waste management comes here, right? And this is moved vertically up and down. When that is vibrating, vertically vibrating, the many of the particles get lifted and fall here and there. So the contact will be more. The size one, yeah, they get collected in this hopper, hopper number one. And this portion you see here, you have a screen of a larger silo hose. So those materials will be here and these material called oversized. Undersized number 1, undersized number 2, oversized. So this is a way of telling. Undersized means that is collected after screening. Oversized means that has escaped the screening. So you can design the screen to achieve your objective. So you have to identify what should be your undersize number 1, undersize number 2, undersize number 3 or 4 like that and make and design depending on the ultimate achievement. So as an engineer you should have that in your mind 
and one this one is one of the classical uh, herbating screen okay. I hope you got the point these are called undersized materials collected at the bottom of the screen that escape the screen are known as the oversized is that clear okay fine. Now let us move to other type of the screen yeah another type is what we call them as a trommels. This is also known as rotary drum screens, rotary drum screens. Generally in the examination they ask explain okay, different types of screens. Many students explain but the line diagram you know most of students will not draw or draws in a such a way that you know conventionally so as an engineer you should be very particular about which the clarity of knowledge the moment we start reading your paper no, the moment we see the line diagram of a particular equipment we very clearly and yes this student knows very much clear about that so let us look into the line diagram of this okay okay so here also you can see materials falling through the screen is collectively known as under size over size or overflow so similar retained by the screen collective are known as overs over size or overflow these are the different names same what I told in the uh, other method screening method or there are some trammels which are equipped with metal blades of teeth to break the bigger size bags like items so bag breakers they call. So I will show you the figures and these things will become much more easy to understand for you. Yeah, you should be at least if not this, you should be able to draw this diagram in the examination. Then only you know uh, 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 you will get full marks. We expect, we expect. So that is why rather than the photos I have taken for this presentation line diagrams, line diagrams. So the moment you draw, draw this very much neatly, we understand yes the students because this figure is more or less self explanatory the figure itself will explain and we being examiners or evaluators no okay we will understand so you have to save the time and after drawing this just briefly tell certain points so look at this figure so let me explain so this is the feed coming out or waste you would like to separate by this technique and it is a drum revolving drum it is revolving right and this portion is having the rotating drum holes or perforations are a particular size which we call it as you have taken here as a size one then other portion you just look into there that is also a portion of the rotary drum or a trommel screen which is having bigger holes. So, I am calling it here as a size 2 and this rotates and look at here okay, to break certain big brags like things they are fixed with here blades. Okay. So, when the feed enters here no, some of the bigger bag breakers we call them bigger they get broken and become smaller in size. So, as the waste moves down, I told it is inclined generally and it is rotating. So, all the particles will get uh, more number of times they hit to the bottom. Smaller particles, you know, first smaller particles, do not put this one first and the second. <laughs> so, size number one, we call it as a underflow material, size one. And here under four metal size one, the hopper like structure and collected and separated, and whatever um, remains, I call we call it as a oversized material. So, the first one was only a screen, and this is a drum. So it is called a rotary drum or trommel, right? Shall I move further? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Next is a disc. Okay. And here you know this consists of set of parallel horizontal shafts equipped with interlocking discs. Okay. 
undersized materials to be separated fall between the spaces in the disk yeah then bigger size particles also can be separated by adjusting the space between the rotating disks so this becomes these points become very clear to you when i show you the line diagram yeah at least you should draw this in the examination if you do not draw this no if it is a four marks definitely we will not give all the four marks we need as an engineer no we expect you to remember what is the line diagram of that equipment at least here so here you can see interlocked disks and the feed is coming here this is also inclined and the feed moves further and the space between these interlocked disks particles will escape and all the particles enter into the bottom through the space between the interlocked disks and oversized particles are coming here and another advantage is that suppose if the first set you know uh, you are not achieving uh, you wanted to you want to achieve still bigger size whatever you have achieved in the first step what you can do you can adjust the space between these interlocked disks so that even next size also material can be recover so you can once again send it back as a feed and get the size removal size fraction removal as per your requirement okay is that clear so screens this screen is there and uh, rotary drum is there and normal screening is there okay next density separation or air classification so this is also unit operation you have always you know whenever we are discussing physical processing technique better you use this word unit operation that is self explanatory that means properties of the materials are not changing many times you may feel that i am repeating no it happens i want to make you very clear the students do not use such technical terms in the write up adeno environment engineering and somne one general knowledge barren bai bidutare page one marks bidute yard marks bidute athara alla bitu bidaku so we we should be very clear clarity of thoughts is very very necessary as far as engineers are concerned okay so unit operation which is used to separate look here separate materials light materials okay paper plastic from heavier materials like iron materials nu yaru hallirli irthirala avaru jolad rashi adu martirtarala so gaaliyalli ondu yatradalla inspiration nittu adannu hinge kelagade bidtare bitmele adella light agiddanta material ella kelagode jol matra kelage barutte so this is also density separation air classification ಆ ಗಾಳಿ ಒಂದು ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿಗೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿದ್ದ ಜೋಳದಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಂಥ ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ತಪ್ಲ ಒಣಗಿದ ತಪ್ಲದೆಲ್ಲ ಹಾಳಿ ಗಾಳಿಗೆ ಹಾರಿ ತಾನೇ ಹೋಗಿಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೋಳ ಹೇವಿ ಇರೋದರಿಂದ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಏರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆರ್ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಬೇಸಿಕಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸೆಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದಿ ಲೈಟ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ stream from heavy materials for light weight materials and the paper and the plastics i mean this is based obviously weight difference of the material in an air stream adu depending upon its weights paper light plastic light so athara weight difference in the materials plays important role in the density separation if waste material of different weights are introduced into a air stream moving with a sufficient velocity the higher uh, higher allah i think this should be lighter andra light material lighter okay lighter materials will carried away with the air, air whereas heavier materials 
will fall in the counter current direction. So, density separation you should remember the bottom line or the basic technique is separating light weight materials in the solid waste from the heavy. But air or velocity of wear as well as weight difference between the various component of the solid waste plays important role here in this density separation. So, I will show you this figure, one figure. Ha. A compacted air classification system is comprised of huh, air classification system. In the, repeat again, the, sorry for that. Air classification system is comprised, sorry for the mistake, okay. comprised of air classifier and cyclone separator together. Sorry for this mistake, this uh, repeated typing mistake, typographical mistake. Okay. So, I will show the related figure to you, right. Yeah. This one is cyclone separator. A typical classification system used to separate solid waste into lightweight and heavy fractions. Here, it is an input. You can see one belt is there and the waste to be separated, lighter, lighter waste to be separated, the mixture of heavy and light materials is fed into here and here you can see the rotary airlock and uh, from here air is goes into this okay? and when uh, the mixture of light and heavy solid waste comes here, all the heavier things will be falling here and collected in this conveyor belt. And you can see a particular velocity as per the requirement of your separation with a certain velocity is moving this and that air with velocity will take all the light part, light weight particles here. And this cyclone separator you may ask why it is required, you know some of these light weight particles may still carry a very small size heavy particles because of the velocity they are not settling over here. So, now they enter into a cyclone separator, yeah, you can see that cyclone separating technique and heavier things will again a conveyor, truffle conveyor is there and uh, air out goes with uh, very little uh, light materials. So, this is a, a typical, so we expect the students to draw this line diagram. If you write the same thing other the line diagram. I am sure you will not get the marks, full marks, do not expect the full marks. Subject is theoretical, but knowledge is there, it is knowledgeable. Maybe, uh, of course, designs are there at the higher level, but at least you should be aware of this one, some fundamentals. Okay. Next is the magnetic separation, right. Previous, in the previous that is the air classification, I told the fundamental technique is the weight difference between the materials, okay, lighter and heavier put into uh, velocity of air, lighter will escape, heavier will settle. And similarly, another property you are making use of physical property of the ferrous materials and uh, magnetic property of the ferrous materials. And based on that magnetic property, this magnetic separation is, uh, I think uh, we shall stop this class today and tomorrow we shall continue. And uh, I would like to uh, recollect some of the important uh, uh, points what we discussed. I started uh, the class with a little bit of environmental awareness. Yerudu vande bhumi, yalla sampan Attitude towards environment we have to change. We should like to we should lead a life in harmony with nature. There's one point general. I also briefly about uh, the statement of Stephen Hawkins at getting converted into fireball. 
okay sizzling fireball adanu sallpa nee net nel nodi and also i took an example of former president of america al gore a free film you can download an inconvenient truth ella mane mandi kunta picture undu thumba chanagide you will enjoy that movie andre namage arigisikolar aadanta parisara satya adu nodidra balashtu nam manas change aguvanta sadhyate ide adad mele i came to the compound separation we discuss uh, the compound separation by screens we discuss compound separation by uh, rotary drum okay so all those techniques we discussed and this is another technique magnetic separation is also another technique of um, solid waste management or rather compound separation and uh, we will shall discuss the same in the next class i request students you know whenever you complete the class you know certain things uh, you know go into your mind and please make a note of such important points and uh, so that you will enjoy that okay this is happening around our world i also told the um, about our bangalore city uh, the new york times in editorial it came that's why it became big issue in india some of them uh, of you may be aware Ga- bangalore a gar- garden city becoming a garbage city something like that so okay say okay students we shall uh, discuss this the same in the next class thank you